Hey everybody, so um, this one I'm just gonna do with the voice. Um, I wanted to talk about um, this video that I'm going to play. Uh, it's of LaDonna Brave Bull Allard. Um, you know, she passed away recently, so I wanted to pay my respects. Um, but also share, you know, um, I, I really, you know, this hit home. I think she explained it perfectly, so I, I don't need to try to put it in my own words so much as to say, you know, over my walk, spiritual walk, I've gravitated. It was kind of a no-brainer for me to gravitate towards more of a native um, teaching, you know, and it's hard, especially when you've been raised a different way and then to try to meet people, like-minded people and communities and that kind of stuff. It's not as easy, but you know, but it was what resonated the best and not only because just, oh, this is what fits me better. It was like, you know, for humanity, it's what, what, um, what made the most sense, right? And you'll see why right now. So I'll try to cut this short. Um, you know, when she talks about, um, well, I might as well just say it when she talks about how the welcoming of people, right? And, um, you'll see what I mean right now like everyone is welcome is going to be the message that you'll see and that's the difference in today and uh, today is very out in the open now that we have uh the internet and youtube and social media where you see how people treat others right very you know with racism and and uh intolerance and get, get out of here this is my country go back home you know not just here in the united states but uh, in other parts of the world as well where people are so quick to say this is my land get out of here get out of here so you'll see why this message meant so much and um you know it's something to always come back to if you lose your way so you know again uh i hope she's had a good journey as she you know traveled from this life experience and um you know i wish her all the best um so yeah uh hope hope uh this resonates with you as well thank you and then we started holding classes on how do you live on our land in our environment we have a harsh environment and then we started telling story and everywhere you walk there were people praying there were people singing there were people dancing and i remember walking around along my river and there were people all along the river praying and one of the things that happened was people from around the world brought their water from their rivers their ponds their oceans to put in our river so every day there were prayer ceremonies as we put this water and brought this water from the world mm -hmm. into the river i think that was the key to touching the world I tell people to my own eyes what I witnessed myself, just me. I was the honor to be in 17 different prayer ceremonies in one day, every day, listening to different languages, and cultures, and people every day. So I remember that people used to ask me all kinds of crazy things at camp. So this man came up and said, we came here in a good way. We brought food. Me and my wife cooked. We want you to know if it is all right and are we are welcome. And I said, yes, everybody's welcome. He said, because we are Hindu and we brought you Hindu food. And his wife cooked for all the people. And one day there was a man standing on the hill. They said, he won't come down. He wants you to go talk to him. So I went up there and he said, I brought my five children. We want to stand with you. I said, okay. He said, no, you don't understand. Am I welcome? Well, why wouldn't you? I am Muslim. Are Muslims welcome? Yes, everybody is welcome. There were two men that came from Africa to come and pray. Are we welcome? Yes, you are welcome. 
so what I seen there at Standing Rock was not about us. It was about the world. It was about this global movement. It was about something greater than any of us. And even though things, the army came for us and the militia groups and the police, we understand that. But I think it was like, this is how it was supposed to be. To create seeds, to spread across the world, to say that if you stand up, no matter where you are, no matter who you are, you can make change. I tell people, we must empower ourselves. We must feed ourselves. Feeding ourselves is the first act of sovereignty. We must protect our water because water gives us life in every living thing. To me, those are the major components of what we need to spread across the world. Thank you so much for that.